Almighty, I pray for protection, Lord. Um, may your mighty hand just be on us today. Um, yeah, I pray we would walk in alignment with your spirit. May we just walk in obedience to your voice. Um, and may that be what guides us today. All right. All right. Salt water on three. One, two, three. Salt water. Just being here serving people and being the hands and feet of Jesus has been so incredible because you can see the impact it has on the homeowners and it's honestly so humbling seeing their attitudes and so many of them have either rededicated their life to Christ or come to know Christ and it's just been so amazing to see how Jesus works in doing things like moving branches. I am so thankful to be here and serve at your feet and to be your friend, to be a sister in Christ, that we inherit the kingdom together and that we get to choose each other now. We get to fight for each other now and we're gonna say this now, we're gonna to continue to fight for you and choose into you. I And I hope you believe that. Like we do want to see you succeed. Y'all, <laughs> I'm telling you, you really are, y'all. It's not us. It's just the Lord it's and you. Jesus. I love y'all. <laughs> we love you. Um, he has changed my heart so much. One huge way is just how I rely on him for physical strength. Um, working six days a week doing super hard labor is not something that I'm used to, but I call on the name of Jesus and He allows that strength within me. And it's really cool just to see how the Lord provides even like physical strength, which not a lot of people think He can do. He loves um, every single person so widely and I've just been learning to love as Christ did and walk as Christ did. It has been such a great opportunity to be the hands and feet of Jesus and be able to help people who are in these struggles and just really learn to be grateful for what I have. And it's so great to give out of an overflow and I've just been able to spend a lot of time with the Lord, not only these past two weeks, but in my time at training camp too. And it just has let me just like grow my relationship with the Lord and be able to love others as Christ did. I think the main thing I'm learning is just how much love and how much compassion, how much selflessness Jesus did and I wanna walk in that as well. Because, Lord, you've said it, you said it before, it is finished. Lord, we've done our work here, Lord, but you're not done with Barbara, Lord. So I just pray that you hear her, you see her, and you feel for her, Father. That you're going to continue to fight for her, even though we aren't in front of her, Lord. But let this be a demonstration of how we fight for her, Lord, is even more so how you fight for her, Lord. So thank you for her life. Thank you for her faith, Lord. And I just thank you for this sweet moment of community, sweet moment of redemption, Lord. And let this be a start of a new start of her life, Lord. Thank you. We just really do love you to the end of our days. In Jesus' name.